Good afternoon. Welcome to another edition of the 411 Talk Zone radio show, Red Pill Edition. My name is Leon Jones. And in this segment, I'm going to go over something that I've talked about in 2018. Because a number of individuals, particularly in the black sector, really don't have a clue of the meaning of red pill. So the title of this video today is what is red pill? Now, if you're familiar with the 1999 movie, The Matrix, two pills were presented. You had the blue pill and you had the red pill. Now, the blue pill, I call it the pill of delusion. The red pill is the pill of truth. Now, in the African-American sector, there have been many pills that have been discovered. Some people on the female side talk about the pink pill, which I have no idea what that is. Then you have two versions here in the black sector of the black pill because there's something that means the dark side. The black pill meaning the dark side. There's some that believe the black pill is for incels. Now, when we talk about the red pill, if you're looking at it from a MGTOW standpoint, you're looking at the fourth stage before you become a MGTOW. Now, when you become red pill, there is no turning back. Now, you have a number of individuals who are here in the African-American sector who have no idea what red pill is because they're basically circumventing the philosophy around women. Yes, women are part of the philosophy. However, the overall meaning of red pill is understanding the truth about, number one, the, the nature of women, particularly this modern day woman, the system, and I'm talking about the overall political system. They're also understanding the philosophy that to become red pill is to think about yourself. See, when it comes to men, particularly in the African-American sector, they call themselves red pill when they're basically blue pill because they believe that the philosophy revolves around women. And in the African-American sector, the reason why African-American men are never going to become a powerful force is, number one, they don't like or trust each other. And number two, their main focus is getting women. So a number of them who are in the African-American sector are basically looking for women. Now, if you don't have a woman what you should be doing right now is to educate yourself with the truth about what's going on. Now, a number of older African-American men, like myself, we've gone through the girlfriends, the marriage, the children, the child support, the feminism, the college. Yes, 
those concepts of institution, when it comes to women, still apply today, but even worse. But when you deal with red pill, you have to look at those institutions as truth. Now, of course, a real truth out there is that the Rothschilds, Black Lives Matter, they're really about black women. The George Floyd situation. Of course, I don't believe that he shouldn't have died by the hands of the police. But then again, in reality, and here's what no one is telling you. He shouldn't have taken a counterfeit $20 bill into a store where the business owner sold him a product known as cigarettes that he didn't give back based off of his counterfeit $20 bill. Because had he had given the cigarettes back, we would not have heard about George Floyd today. But then again, when it comes to being red-pilled, the truth of the matter is that although George Floyd was a criminal, Black Lives Matter took it upon themselves to use this situation to get emotional. Black Lives Matter sold out black man masculinity because George Floyd was a masculine looking man. And the funny thing about the truth of the matter when he called his mama, well, wasn't talking about his mama who had passed two years before his death. He was talking about his Caucasian girlfriend. And if you don't believe me, if you had paid attention to the case, she explained that he called her mama. Then you had other instances where black men were used by BLM to carry on their real agenda. And their real agenda is to utilize black male masculinity to promote their feminist agenda. Why do you think Black Lives Matter always utilize the criminality of African-American men. Why? And this is spread pill here. Because we already know that the modern African-American woman does not respect masculine black men. If you don't believe me, Black Lives Matter, in their website, they took a lot of their information down. They believe in feminism. They believe in the LGBTQ agenda. They didn't believe in family. They believe the village is supposed to raise a family. They didn't believe in patriarchy. They believed in the deviants. They believed in the Marxism. In fact, Patrice Cullors said she was a devout Marxist. That's where all of this is going to. But you have a number of African American people, particularly the older ones who voted for Joe Biden, that really believe that BLM was fighting for racism 
against black people. But one thing that BLM didn't tell you was there's a lot of black on black crime going on in the urban areas. You see, BLM raised $10.6 billion. And some of that money went to the Democratic Party. Some of that money went through Act Blue. And if you don't know what Act Blue is, Act Blue was a service that allowed funds of money to be paid via website for Democratic candidates. Now, I'm not making this video about women, particularly African-American women, and I'm not making videos about the election of politics. Here on the 401 Talk Zone radio show, I give you the information as I research it. And every bit of information that I research isn't always correct. So I look at both sides to see where I can take the issues and go right down the middle. You see, the object of being red pill is you're always seeking the truth. Now, there's some people here on YouTube who believe that particularly here in black YouTube, they believe that they're the only ones who are telling the truth, which this is the ignorance of some African-American people. Truth can be parametric. Now, if you are not familiar with the term parametric in mathematics, T is the variable for parametric. Now, what does parametric mean? Well, in mathematics, T is an unknown, but parametric means that there is more than one truth. But many of us, when we put out truth, we will look up sources that are on our side. The truth of the matter is, if you are going to deconstruct an argument, you have to look up the information from your side and the other side. And when you deconstruct an argument, you take their side and go backwards with it. That's how you challenge the other side. You see here on black YouTube, and I'm not a participant in the black manosphere. My channel is not monetized. I'm not going to ask for Cash App. In fact, if you don't believe me, I took all the links down for Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal. Why? Because I'm not utilizing YouTube as a source of revenue. I already have a job and I'm still building up my engineering service known as Quality Control Inspection Services. Now, I've gone through 14 minutes of this video. Some might ask, what does all of this mean? What I'm explaining to you is that when it comes to being red pill, you understand the truth about the world. Women are part of the world, but women are only a small part of the world. You have individuals out here who don't understand why we continue to wear masks. Well, there's no science that has been proven to say that these masks work. You had Dr. Fauci who said a mask only makes you feel good. It doesn't work. Then he comes back and says, you should wear a mask. Then he was talking about wearing two masks. Now, why did he say that? He said that because he didn't know. 
you have the delusion, and this is the blue pill delusion, that there aren't two sexes. Well, they are. All this other jargon that is coming from people is just to make individuals who are ignorant of the truth or who don't want to say the truth feel good. You hear names like pansexualism. There's no such thing as pansexualism. Bisexuality. Okay, usually when somebody is bisexual, they want both sexes. But what's going on with these terms of jargonism is it's just there to make deviant people feel good, feel wanted. If you look at all of the laws that are being passed, it's about controlling the masses of people. And when you have no knowledge of what's going on, you're going to be headed into the slaughterhouse like sheep, and you're going to get slaughtered. And you have a number of individuals who are sheeple. And that includes black YouTube. They will take a term like red pill and utilize it without understanding the context of what red pill is. And see, when it comes to a number of men, most of these men out here are upset that they don't have a woman. Or if they have a woman, that woman is getting on their nerves and she's stressing them out. So a number of these individuals will get up on these panels all day and start talking about how bad women are. But what they don't look at is how bad they are. What are they doing for themselves? And when it comes to older African-American men and women, something that I forgot to say in my previous video is... When it comes to politics and economics, older black men and women stay away from those subjects because you don't know anything about those subjects. What you should be discussing is life. But many older African-American men and women aren't discussing life. Again, they are comfortable in getting their retirement. They're comfortable on a job. Part of teaching the younger generations about life, and this is truth, is telling them how the real world works. But you can't tell them how the real world works if you don't know how the real world works. But when it comes to red pill, red pill is about satisfying yourself and the problem with a number of men we've been taught to satisfy satisfy others even though others don't appreciate what we do and we've been made to feel guilty if we're about ourselves but the people who we're trying to satisfy whether it's men and women or other men and women they will gladly be selfish if you ask them for a favor, they're going to give you an excuse why they can't do anything for you. Now, shout out to Brother Ringo TV. He had two good videos out there on why the African-American woman cannot find a man. And I can tell you right now, Many of them believe in the institutions, going to school, getting an education. Many of them believe in being a man. You don't like a man, but you're being a man. And as per Ringo, and I'm going to give credit to where the source comes from, many of these African-American women today 
as well as other feminist-minded women, are going to find their joys in either lesbianism, toys, some of them even practice bestiality. This is why they have their dogs and cats in the bed. You don't believe me. There's proof that when it comes to some of these Caucasian women, they put peanut butter right down there on their pussy and they have the dog lick it. This is why the dog is jealous when a man comes around. Because they allow their pets to be human, although they're not human. And the reality of the matter, when it comes to women, men have to understand it, that they're going to be utilized as a tool. Certainly, you should want to build families. But in retrospect, Remember, these modern-day women have already made up their mind on where they want to be. They want to continue to live in a delusional world and act as if they have a penis. Because the government allows them to do that. Many brothers are upset that they cannot find a woman. But the problem with a number of brothers is they're not looking at themselves. And see, what I do for myself every day, I don't have weights in my house, but during COVID, I've been doing a lot of cardio, a lot of push-ups. Because it's very important to get our health together as men. When I come on camera, make sure I'm well-groomed. I don't go to the barbershop, I give myself a haircut. I do a lot of reading. I find something that is of interest to me. And I don't procrastinate about it. I go ahead and do it. Because I'm about satisfying Leon Jones. That is my government name. I don't have a problem putting it out there. Put it out there twice in all of my videos that I do. I have no problem camming up. Because every video that I've done. You know what I look like. Because I believe in what I'm saying, whether you agree with it or not. The bottom line, when it comes to the philosophy of red pill, red pill is understanding the truth. It's getting to the truth. And when you become red pill, and you have your own mind, you're going to leave some people behind. Whether it's family members, whether it's friends. Because the people that you are leaving behind think you're crazy when in essence, they're stagnant. They're comfortable where they are. They believe in the lies that they're being told every day. And some of them are too lazy to seek the truth. Some of them don't want to deal with the truth. This is why they get angry. But as a man who is red-pilled, you have to go above women. Yes, when it comes to a number of modern-day women, they live in a dark triad with the narcissism, the Machiavellianism, and there's a third one, the videos on a dark triad. But when it comes to you as a man, you have to think about your goals. You have to think about your health. Some of you have to pick up a book, start reading. Some of you have to start eating better as men. Some of you need to pick up a trade. But overall, 
here in the black sector, a number of you are blue pilled, but you're hiding under the umbrella of red pill. But when you believe the philosophy is only about female nature, you have no clue about being red pill. And when that happens, some of you sound like incels. Certainly there's red pill rage. You're going to have that. But many of you have come up with a term purple pill. There is no such thing as a purple pill. Again, you're either red pill or you're blue pill. Simple as that. Oh, the third part to the dark triad. You're a narcopath. There's, there's narcopathy and there's Machiavellianism. Now, when somebody's Machiavellian, they're very manipulative. And a number of women, and this is the truth, are using the system to get over. Now, going back to the dark triad, I'll list the parts of the dark triad in my comment section under the video. So you got to check that out. And I'll put the link on where I found it. Because if you find out the truth about what's going on around you, as a man, particularly as an African-American man, you're going to live a lot longer because the average life expectancy for an African-American male is 68 to 72 years old. But the problem with a lot of African-American men, the reason why we can't build anything or we have anything, we're busy arguing and hating one another and being jealous of one another. And on top of that, we're busy circumventing our life around a piece of pussy. Now you have a number of individuals who have game out here. That's fine. But the real game out here is understanding life. And you should put yourself above a woman. Especially if you are not living with her. Black men put pussy above everything else in their life. That's why a number of them are sitting in jail. That's why a number of them are broke. That's why a number of them don't have the fight in them to do anything for themselves. That's why a number of them are under a woman's control because they're living with women. And the truth of the matter is, regardless of how much game you have, or some people good at it, like shout out to Red Supreme and Minister Jap, but other guys just aren't good with women. Because they don't see the true nature of women. But again, when it comes to being red pill, you have to look at the scope of what's really going on out here. You have a number of your politicians, your government, they want a communist or a socialist state. They want totalitarianism. They want to control all of us, even with these COVID vaccines. And the COVID vaccine, believe it or not, it's going to take two or three to five years for it to get approved by the FDA. So right now, the COVID vaccine is in its infancy stages. I'm not going to get it because I'm not going to be a guinea pig. I had enough shots when I did 17 years in the United States Navy. But being red pill is a philosophy. It goes much 
higher than women. And again, traveling that red pill road is lonely, but it's worth it if you stay with it. Because in actuality, men should think about their own lives. Red pill is about seeking the truth. It's not about getting women. But as a man, you must understand that red pill is a philosophy about truth, about self-improvement, about making yourself number one. Because when it comes to you as a man, particularly an African-American male, the world is against you for the most part. So if you're going to be red-pilled, as any man must understand that red pill is the philosophy of finding the truth. And that's my commentary for this edition of the 401 Talk Zone Radio Show right here on YouTube. If you like what I just presented, please comment, share, and subscribe. Please like the videos. And also, if you're looking for some education, check my other channel out, The Mind of STEM. On The Mind of STEM, what I do is give you a daily dose of science, technology, engineering, and math. And you can also check out my blog talk radio show. Guest calling number is 215-383-5785. And on that show, I produce content that's too hot for YouTube. And at the end of the day, I'm going to leave you with this. Be blessed for what you have. Don't worry about what you don't have. Always know that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Now, before I conclude this video, if you cannot find me on YouTube or Blog Talk Radio, you can check me out and have the links below on social media, Twitter, MeWe, and Parlor. Because at the end, when it comes to Red Pill, it's not about women, that's part of it. It's about seeking the truth. And once again, thank you for listening to this edition of the 401 Talk Zone Radio Show. Till next time, my name is Leon Jones. I want you all to have a wonderful and gracious day. God bless you. I'm out.